right, so it is Friday, a little after 7.30, and I just finished walking. Um, lately, I've actually been falling asleep at a decent hour. So, but I think I'm going to go get maybe some Starbucks. It is super hot <laughs> and humid. Um, yeah. But I said that I will probably just vlog when I had an update and I have an update. Um, the person I've been talking to, uh, let's just call her Miss Jackson. <laughs> she called me on Wednesday, um, kind of asking some of the same questions. I feel like she asks me every time she talks to me. Um, but she said she was waiting, like she's been checking the PSC to see if my university sent in my certification information. I was like, she asked me, if if I knew if they did it or if they were playing it to it, I'm like, I don't think so because I haven't graduated. Like, they would only send in the information once you graduate. And I was like, um, I don't think so. Then I told her I was trying to get certified via Pathway 4. And that, I guess, cleared everything up for her. <laughs> Even though I told her before that I was trying to get a provisional license, which is what Pathway 4 is, though. So but she understood that <laughs> and it's like oh okay and then she asked about my transcripts again I'm like um the last time we talked you said that since I was the substitute teacher and they already have my transcripts and then she's like oh yeah I have them right here I'm like like I don't know <laughs> then she's like okay well that's it basically we just need to schedule you for fingerprinting and somebody who should call you to schedule that and that was basically it so I'm like but like, I don't know. I feel like all of this could have been resolved like way back before if she would have been, have been paying attention to what I was telling her. But anyway, so yesterday somebody called me. Um, somebody different called me to schedule my fingerprinting and that will be done on July 6th. So in about two weeks. Uh, she was just telling me like, what I'm gonna need, like a money order and license, and then there's a form I need to fill out and take with me. And then she said that I will be meeting with Miss Jackson <laughs> to sign my provisional contract. So I'm guessing once by July 6th it should be official, like for real. Yeah. But so there's like four different pathways you could go to get the certification. And Pathway 4 is like people who are doing like an alternative program like Teach for America or the Georgia TAP program. You know, you have a bachelor's degree, but it's not in education. So you can start teaching even without a degree in education if you have a bachelor's degree. You just have to have a job offer, basically. And so that's me. And then Pathway 1 is the typical pathway, like you've already completed your program. Um, your education program that includes certification in Georgia and you did your student teaching in Georgia that's pathway one and then pathway two is for people who went to a college out of Georgia but they did the student teaching in Georgia and then pathway three is for people who did their certification in their student teaching in a different state so but with the provisional license though you get paid less that's why some programs like Teach for America is so popular because those people get paid less and because it's a provisional license. So some districts prefer to hire those people because they can keep costs down because most people don't stay for more than two years and yeah, that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll be getting paid less. Like, since I'll have a bachelor's degree, in a provisional license, I think they get paid like the very least amount out of all the groups. Um, but I should only have the provisional license for one year, and then it should convert to a induct just a regular induction certificate because induction is for all new teachers for three years. Um, yeah, although some places. They count military experience for like 
until years of experience or whatever, they'll convert it. Otherwise, you start out at like zero, you have zero years of teaching experience, and you get paid at that step because you get paid in Jordan, you get paid for years of experience and for degree levels or whatever. <coughs> so, since I'll be a brand new teacher with zero years of experience and I'll be getting a professional license, I'm at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Unless they consider military experience. Which I saw a couple of counties do that. I don't know if my county does that. That's something I'll have to ask. Um, but once I graduate, my pay will jump up to like, it'll increase by like $10,000 basically. Because <laughs> I have a master's degree. And it won't be a professional license, it'll be a regular induction license. And that'll be for three years. And then after three years, it'll convert to a clear renewable license. So now I'm just trying to decide if I want to move or not. Like originally I was thinking after I graduate I would move, but uh, I was just looking at like the pay in different areas and most of them aren't any better. Like I wanted to move to the Atlanta area, but not that many places like the pay isn't that much greater to compensate for like the cost of living. Cause obviously it would cost more to live in in the Atlanta area than where I'm currently living. There are a couple of counties I saw where it would be beneficial to move. And I do plan on getting a, a specialist degree. That's like the next degree level you can get. Uh, it's in between a master's and a doctorate. And that would give me like $5,000 more. But I can't start that till like I've been teaching for three years. So. There's that. <laughs> but I could just stay here until like three years. Like most places, they don't pay you extra within the first three years. You only start getting paid for experience after you've been teaching for three years. So I could just stay here for three years. And, or I could just stay here until I finish my specialist degree. I don't know. The only problem is I don't want to go to my school for my specialist degree, so that wouldn't leave me too many options for school. But if I went to Atlanta, there are a ton of colleges in the Atlanta area. Hey, would you Starbucks? This is Luke. What can I get something for you today? Uh, yes. Can I get a tall, um, prickly pear frappuccino? A tall, prickly pear frappuccino. Sorry, Lincoln, anything else for you today? Oh, no, that'll be all. Okay, a tall prickly pear is going to be 41. Yeah, so there's some things I have to think about, like what I want to do with my future. Um, I don't know, surprisingly, Clayton County, like their pay is actually one of the better ones in there. <laughs> Clayton County and Fulton County. And I'm thinking the cost of living in Clayton County wouldn't be too bad. It's just some parts of Clayton County are I would not want to live there. Like I already know. <laughs> yes, I don't have anything else planned for today or this weekend really. Um, I definitely will be vlogging when I go do my fingerprints and stuff. But that's not till July 6th. <laughs> so, um, and then I think like new teacher orientation is only for two days and it's like two days, end of July. Oh, that's not bad. Hi there. Hi. How are you? All right, how are you? Good. There you go. Thank you so right, much. Thank have you. Day. You too. Yeah, it's like the 20 something, I think it's a Wednesday and a Thursday maybe, 
or Thursday and Friday, and then teacher stop start back on August. It's the first, it's like the first through the fourth, which is a Tuesday through a Friday. So they have that whole like free planning and like verification or whatever. And then students start back on the seventh. turn in that form um, about substitute teaching I have to turn that in since now I'm almost certain that everything is good to go now but that is it for this vlog just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on July 6th. <laughs> so talk to you guys later.